All right, the guy standing next to me right now, do you recognize him? Or do you recognize if our great cameraman, Harry, can pan down as this person right here in the red helmet? That's right. It's the Red Ranger himself, Stephen Cardenas. How are you doing? Yeah, hey, good. I'm good. How are you? Are you enjoying yourself here at this WonderCon, which is a science fiction and comic convention? Yeah, I'm loving it, actually. Uh, this is like the fourth convention I've ever done, so I'm kind of, I'm just getting new, new to the scene, but I like it a lot. Cool. Now, you were the second Red Ranger in the TV show. You, you weren't on the first season, but you were on the second season, correct? Right. I came in in, in season two. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. I came in in season two, um, this was like in July of 1994. That long ago? Mm-hmm. Wow. And how did, how did you audition for to be a Red Ranger? Is there, you know, do you have to, uh, yeah, you had, know, had read? To, I had to audition. Um, I was uh, living in Dallas at the time, and they were looking for new Rangers, and they were looking around all over Dallas, uh, Florida, New York, and California. And so I was in Texas at the time, and they were like, uh, I heard on the radio they were looking for Power Rangers. They were looking for people that knew how to do martial arts and gymnastics. So um, I just went to the audition. There was like 4,000 people there. I waited in line for like a couple hours, and then finally I got to show my stuff. And they were like, well, don't call us. We'll call you. A couple days later, they called me back. They're like, we want to fly out to California to meet the producers. Flew out, auditioned for them, and then two days later, I got the job. So, I mean, did, did you have to have some martial arts skills, or yes. do you have to look good in the costume? Well, they wanted people that knew how to do martial arts and gymnastics. They preferred that. Um, but if you didn't know how to do it, it wasn't necessarily a factor. But that's what they were looking for. And uh, so I happened to know how to do both, because I'd been doing martial arts for like 10 years and gymnastics for 10 years at the time. Now, most of the time we watch the show, you see the Red Ranger, you see the Pink Ranger. Person, I like the Pink Ranger, by the yeah. way. How'd you like her? I liked her. She was great, man. Yeah. I mean, as a person, she was great. And, of course, everybody loved her because she's so cute, you know. But Okay, back to you. Yeah. Um, when you're in these costumes and everything, I mean, some of it was acting from a Japanese television show, or was that always you in the costume, or the no, stunt doubles? It, yeah, no, that's a good question. Um, it, there was a lot of it was Japanese footage uh, from uh, Japan because it used to be a Japanese show, and they would take the Japanese footage and intercut it with us. And so there was some of it was us, and then some of it was Japanese footage, and uh, some of it was stunt guys that they had doing stuff for us as well, too. So it was a mix. Now, when you were shooting the show, I mean, it, is it like a regular television schedule where you do 22 episodes a season, or I mean, how was the filming schedule for uh, something did, like this? We did way more than that because um, we never really took hiatus ever. Like, they would have most seasons, most uh, shows would have a hiatus where they'd take, you know, three months off or whatever, but we were filming every day. And wow. it usually takes one week to sh film a half an hour episode. So, in order to get shows going every day, we worked every day of the year pretty much uh, except for the weekends obviously but you know every there was no real breaks there would be like one time in the year we'd have like six weeks for a break and that was it and they would go right back to filming again so we were filming every day for pretty much 11 months of the year so it was basically like a soap opera schedule yeah it, right. it really was yeah okay now you were also in the movie right yeah we so uh, as well. were you in both of them or just the I first one okay so what was it like you know when you they say hey we're going to do a movie version of Power Rangers. What, you, what was your first impression? Well, I mean, it all happened at the same time. When I got the part on the show, they were like, oh, and by the way, in a month and a half, we're going to uh, Sydney, Australia to do the movie. And I was just like, I was floored, you know what I mean? Because, wow. like, I mean, obviously it was like, here's this kid from Texas who got this huge part on the number one kid show in the world at the time. And uh, then they're like, oh, yeah, and by the way, we're going to do a big, huge feature film that we're going to do in Australia. I mean, all that comes at you at once. You're just like, wow, dude, <laughs> you're on like cloud 10 if there even is that. So, you know, after, after your Power Ranger, your group, there was a whole bunch of other Power Rangers. I mean, how do you feel about that? I mean, you guys are still the people that the fans know you guys more than, I think, all of them. I mean, yeah. how do you feel about the other ones that came in? Do, they, do you feel like, hey, they're taking our spot? No, not at all. I mean, you know, it, I mean, it's inevitable. I mean, if you want to keep a show going, then you've got to, can, you know, you got to replace the cast out. You know, you can't have us be all old, you know, and not out of high school now. And what are we doing, you know? So it's good to bring fresh young faces in all the time. And I think that really helped and what is what continue to keep the, help, uh, the show going because every new season or every new year, they got a new group of people. Is it still going right now? Yeah. It still goes on. Man, yeah. Amazing. Now, um, what have you been doing after Power Rangers? Uh, what I do now is I work with kids. Uh, I work with uh, like elementary school kids and uh, private school kids, teaching them martial arts. Well, you know, we appreciate everything, and uh, you're a really nice guy to, to talk to us and everything. Continue success with your career. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Take care.